Hi, how are you guys? Um, I'm Ali Alhamwi. I'm the founder of C4 Studios. Uh, we are a studio that is specialized in uh, making hyper casual games that are data driven. Uh, we've been uh, focusing on using OpenAI GPT-3 in order to come up with uh, our ideation and testing it in uh, the market. We were founded in 2019 back in Malaysia, and uh, just uh, last year we moved to United Arab Emirates in Abu Dhabi. We had an experience in hyper casual games since 2018. Uh, we were called Clairvoyant Studios, and then we kind of made a rebranding for the studio. Now it's called C4 Studios. This is our team. Most of our team is available in Syria right now. And some of them are in Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates. As you know, uh, we've tested a lot of uh, games last year, more than uh, 50 uh, prototypes, but we only tested 50. And unfortunately, we didn't get any single hit game so far. So um, we kind of want to furnish a solution uh, with uh, my proposal here or uh, uh, whatever I'm trying to uh, portray towards uh, the NFT market and how we can use it in order to make use of all these games that were tested, but never made any profit out of it. So uh, the reality is um, most of the games don't really get published because the KPIs determines the marketability of the game. It means that the CPI is a factor which determines whether the game is going to be published or not. And for that main reason, there's a lot of cool games that are killed for just the KPIs, just because it's not cheap to buy users. So it's very expensive in order to get users for such games that don't have uh, good uh, KPIs and low CPI, for example. And therefore, a lot of publishers are not interested in publishing it because they can't make any profit out of games like that. But the good news is that those games that were tested shouldn't be killed. We can use them in an alternative way. So instead, we could sell it as an NFT. We can, you know, we can give a rebirth to that old project that we already had, like, Mostly, uh, there's a lot of game studios that have more than <laughs> hundreds and hundreds of game prototypes that were not published. And uh, here we're trying to offer you guys a solution for it by selling it as an NFT. So uh, we're introducing a new platform on the phone called Metatron. You can say it's a metaverse. It's the first personalized metaverse on the phone where users can own spaces. Sorry. Um, yeah, I think there's an issue with the pitch. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> okay, um, so I'll move into the next, uh, yeah. Okay, so for example, this is one of the, one of the games. It's called uh, Human Bowling. We can sell, uh, sorry, yeah. So as you can see here, this is the NFT of the game that we can sell as an arcade machine within our platform. So our platform offers uh, spaces, personalized spaces for owners that they would like to buy props in order to showcase it inside their uh, space that they bought inside the metaverse. And here uh, we thought about using all these games that were uh, very expensive to acquire user for uh, as NFTs on the market. So people could actually buy them and make profit out of those games by uh, for example, they could have uh, tokens in order for people to uh, pay, for, pay for playing that game within that room. Or even for entering the room, some people would like to uh, pay in order to enter the room. So there's like uh, rooms for musicians, uh, there's rooms for artists, for businesses, for game developers and game publishers. And uh, we would like to offer uh, or 
have partnerships with game studios all around uh, the hyper casual scene in order to use uh, those killed games inside the platform and have more uh, detailed talk about the platform and what it can offer for the game studios and the game publishers as well. So yeah, I think uh, that's it. That's the entire uh, pitch that uh, I was trying to prepare. And uh, sorry if there's any issues with the pitch, there's something wrong, I think, <laughs> with uh, the videos. Uh, yeah, so I think we could move on to the Q&A, if there's any questions. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, the presentation was really interesting and uh, very good illustrated. Thank you for that. Uh, I have uh, I have a question uh, for uh, from the point of view of the beginner. Uh, can you please uh, try telling uh, others with the simplest words what NFT is? Um, how do you tell it? NFT stands for non-fungible token. It's basically owning something in the digital reality. So uh, when you claim ownership of something in the digital reality, it's exactly like how you are owning something in uh, the reality that we live in. And uh, we believe it's, it has a great future in the metaverse, especially in the game industry. Since you can sell the entire game as an NFT, it's something new. Mm -hmm. Most of the game projects that are related to NFT are selling skins or characters or uh, IP stuff that could uh, you know, be presented as an NFT. But if you can sell an entire game where people could actually own a game, just if you can imagine something like uh, uh, back in the days when Toys R Us, you were, you were buying a toy. And that's the same thing. That's the, that's the platform that we're looking to build for uh, users and at the same time for game studios in order to sell those cool games, but at the same time, not, not having to go through all uh, the testing and the user acquisition issues that most of the people go through. I see. Thank you so much. Thank you. I hope this Thank explanation you. will widen the audience of uh, the listeners who is interested in NFT. Uh, okay, um, uh, well, I would appreciate if you can name uh, uh, some successful cases. I know there are uh, not many of them yet because this topic is pretty new, uh, but probably you know some uh, cool cases you can point on and uh, tell, hey, look at this. Sorry, uh, you mean cool cases about uh, selling games as NFTs, entire games? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, like that or uh, any other um, NFT related. Uh, maybe NFT games uh, utilizing some uh, different mechanics uh, you were impressed with. Maybe an NFT uh, uh, game selling already there. Mm -hmm. um, where, for example, the sandbox, the way they expanded sandbox by selling spaces on uh, multiple uh, NFT marketplaces and uh, how they managed to get a lot of uh, content creators, a lot of famous people, even artists all around the world to contribute to this platform and have spaces in that uh, game. It's a game like just it, the artwork looks something like uh, Minecraft, but at the same time, they managed to sell a lot of spaces for uh, amazing prices and uh, the, their floor prices kept going up and up and up. And uh, for us in Metatron, we're doing something similar by selling uh, rooms. So the room is going to be specialized based on the owner's purpose in the metaverse. So the owner could be a podcast or it could be a musician, a game developer. Uh, there's many cases where for us, for us also, we had like uh, the ability to collaborate with a lot of restaurants here in the UAE. So the restaurants were actually interested to have their own uh, space in our uh, metaverse and offer it as in uh, ways like uh, pe when people enter the room, they could order food, stuff like that. Yes. Sounds so absolutely fantastic. Thank you. Okay. Uh, some other questions uh, from... Uh... Mike Steinbach, uh, CEO at Evolution Games. Uh, have you successfully sold your NFT yet? 
Yes, we did sell uh, our first collection and second collection. And uh, right now we are on our third collection. So the collections that we are selling are available on Rarible. Uh, the spaces are fully personalized by, uh, by our designer team. So uh, we design the entire room based on the requirements of uh, the owner after they buy it. Thank you so much. Uh, the, uh, next question from Mohammed uh, Adil. Um, how can game uh, can be sell out as NFT? Or you retaking uh, about uh, selling game assets? Are no, we're selling the entire. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Sorry, uh, we're selling the entire game as an NFT, and we're gonna integrate it in in an arcade machine that reflects the brand of the game where we can put it in those rooms and sell it to our community. Since our community are uh, growing larger and larger, and we're getting a lot of exposure here in uh, the Middle East, uh, we believe that uh, this community can, uh, can be interested in uh, buying entire games just to showcase it inside uh, the rooms. Whether it's, uh, for example, if the room owner is a content creator on YouTube and would like to have uh, more visits towards his room inside our metaverse, he could uh, buy one of those arcade machines that are basically a game that didn't make it through the KPIs testing. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Uh, the next question is, uh, have you sent NFT a reward in ads yet? Uh, what are your thoughts on that? NFT reward NFT, uh, uh, Not yet. It's not yet integrated. But I uh, don't think we will be doing something like this at the meantime. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, why why not implement something like that? Uh, NFT. You mean uh, like having ads ads rewards within the metaverse, right? Um. Uh, yeah, yes. Some some kind of uh, NFT rewards from watching ads. If you see uh, okay. watch some advertisement, yeah. Most, most of the rewards that we offered were actually spaces that we collaborated with uh, people who are, were active on the social media in order to help us expand uh, the, the concept that we have. But uh, we are not thinking to have an in-ad uh, platform within our metaverse yet because we're thinking to uh, do that not through a platform but directly approach uh, businesses that would like to have spaces. I see. Thank you so much. Uh, good. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, do you have your token on the crypto market? The next question. Uh, not yet. We are not. We are not going to make any token as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what blockchain do you use? Ethereum mainnet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Uh, let me check. Okay, seems like uh, this is it, more or less, all the questions uh, the audience brought. So uh, I do appreciate you for all, all opening uh, this mystic window for all of us when explaining a lot about NFT. This is very uh, inspiring and exciting. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a great day. See you. Bye-bye. See you.